everyone and welcome back to my channel. So you're going to need a book that has at least 600 pages, at least 600 readable pages. This one has 618. You're going to need a ruler, a pen and a knife, a sharp knife of some sort to cut your paper. First thing to do is we're going to take the book, this part of the spine off and this cover. So just open your book. I'm just going to cut it from where it's actually opened itself up to. Just slide your knife in and cut down like that. Some are, some are easier to get off than others. Believe you me, this one's easy. And I'm just going to put my knife in this side and run it down. You can tidy that up later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the centre of the book, just around where it says 300. We'll go, so that'll be fine to do the spindle. So just slice that down the middle like that. Keep this part, you're going to need that for the roof. So to do the spindle in the base of the carousel, all you need to do is get your ruler Put it against the spine of your book like this. Doesn't have to be a hundred percent. So put your ruler down near the spine. Don't put it on the top of this thick gluey part. Put it to the side of it. Just so that gluey part is still at the edge there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to draw a line just like that. Do the same here. Line your ruler up with the base of your book, the base of the pages. Now what you're going to do is you're going to draw a line from here from where you made that mark like that. The next step is find your halfway point from here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You need to find a halfway point here. So this is about three and a half. I'm going to go just to this two. I'm going two centimetres here and mark it and then draw a line that's going to match up with this line. This is where you're going to cut don't cut that part. What you're going to do is you're going to cut from there all the way to there and you're going to cut from the top all the way down. You're going to cut all that off. So you're going to cut here and cut, cut this line. I'm going to zoom back up again. So all you got, all of these pages. Put your ruler down. I'm only going to do a few. I'm only going to do a few pages to show you what to do. So just put your knife in this point here. Don't cut from there. No, you're not going to cut. You need to leave that part there open. This is going to fold over to make the spindle. And this part here is going to fold over to make the base. So cut from your halfway point through your book. Make sure you've got a mat. Make sure you've got a mat down. Now turn it this way. Straighten you up a little bit. Now you're going to cut from here down to here. From here down to there. All the way through your book. Don't worry if it's not too neat because that's going to get folded in. So 
you're going to take those pages out, take the pages out that you've cut and I'm going to roughly show you what you have to do. So I've cut through some of the papers, I've still got the rest of these to cut. Cut all of this away, cut it all away. So to make the spindle part and the base all together, what you're going to do now is you're going to fold it. So remember and cut all of this away. So to make the spindle and the base of the carousel, what you're going to do is I'll cut all of these off. I'll cut the rest of that away. So you're going to take your page and you're going to fold it into the spine. So fold this part into the spine. But remember we cut it here. So remember and cut up this little part that we marked. Score that down. And this part you're only going to fold to here. Make sure it lines up on the bottom so that your carousel will stand straight and then just fold that one up. Now we'll do the next one. So you take this part, fold it into the spine. Score it really well. Then take this part of the bottom and fold it to here. Only fold it to there. And then do your next one. And that is going to give you your spindle. It's looking a little wonky just now, but the more you, once you've got the rest of it all folded up. Now I'm down to my last few folds. It gets a little bit difficult here, but just do the best you can and just fold in your half page and then fold in your end like this. So what it's going to do is, I'm going to lift my camera up as much as I can here. So what it's going to do is it's going to go around like this. You're going to put some hot glue down the spine and this is going to join your two halves together once I've got these last few pages done. That is going to give you the spindle part of your carousel. Now I've got my book cut in half. This is the other half of the book. Any little edges like this, just take your scissors and neaten it up. Did not bad with that actually. So you can put this side, you can put this part aside and use it for something else. Now all you do now is very simple. Just take your page and fold it down the spine. Just like that. I know it's longer than the page, just leave that. Because what that's going to do is, it's going to make that long area of the canopy of the roof. That's this part. I've did the same with this one and that is going to make your roof. So I told you this was a very simple thing to make. So you're going to fold all your pages, just fold them like this. Until you folded all of them.
okay, so I've got my roof done and I've now got my pedestal done. I've now got the pedestal end done as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this into the round spindle that I need and I'm going and I'm going to glue the roof. So I'll do the roof first. So I've got my hot glue gun, so I'm going to put some hot glue down into this spine area here. Just be very careful because the glue is exactly that, very, very hot. So take a little handful of papers on each side and pull your roof together so it lines up here. And then just squish it, just hold it together. It doesn't take long for the hot glue to set at all. So all you need to do is just fluff up your roof. So that's the roof of the carousel done. Now you just have to fluff it up just a little bit, just to get it all symmetrical. It will go around, just play around with it, just to get that joint to disappear. And there you go, that's the roof done. So now for the spindle end, I'm going to do exactly the same for the spindle. I'm going to put some hot glue down in the spine make sure it's, I've got enough in and then again just pull it round so it matches so each side is the same I'm going to hold it just for a few minutes it doesn't take long at all and that is the spindle of the carousel done. So what you have to do now is, I need to try and get this to go higher. So what we need to do now is we need to put some glue on here and then we're going to set the roof of the carousel on like this. We're going to glue it in this position. So here's my carousel all finished. We've got the roof on and the spindle on the base is all in one. But this is how you get your basic carousel. You can decorate them any way you want. So how I'm going to show you how I made the horses. I've got this all glued together. I will show you the whole thing. It's just it's a little bit big now. Now, to do the horses for the carousel, I just use these barbecue, these little skewer sticks. I looked on Google for some pictures of horses. Now, please remember, if you're using any pictures on Google, if you're going to sell the item you make, make sure the picture does not have a copyright. Make sure it's a free picture that you can use. So I'm not selling this one, so I've just downloaded myself a little picture of a horse. What I did was I printed it off facing that way and facing that way. I've cut them out. I'm going to glue them, two of them together. Now I'm going to glue it onto my stick. I'm just going to make sure I've got it in the right place. To go around here a little bit, this horse. 
Now just put a little bit of hot glue in the centre there, a little splash there to hold that part. Glue your horse to your stick, just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the stick down into here and up inside. We're going to put it up inside the roof. So you just find one of your folded over pages and it will just sit nicely in here. So just fold it, push it into the groove, push it in upside up into the roof. Maybe need to move it over a wee bit. There we go. And that will hold it. You can put a little bit of hot glue down in there to hold the stick. So all it leaves me to say is thank you for watching. A big thank you to all the people who have watched all my tutorials. An extra thank you to all the people who take a few extra minutes just to subscribe to my channel. It gives my channel great moral support. So please subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment in the bottom and give the tutorial a thumbs up. So until the next time. Happy crafting. I'll see you all again. So goodbye.